What's good? What's good? This your host, Swag Boy from SwagBoy360.com. Huh? Today's episode My girlfriend wants to go on a girl's trip. I got an email from the homie Aaron from Harlem, Harlem World, New York City. Thanks for the donation, Aaron. Aaron wrote Swag. My girl wants to go on a girl's trip with her friends to Jamaica in July for a reggae festival. We have been together for four years. Our relationship has not been great, but also has not been bad. It's been just okay. To be honest with you, I feel extremely uncomfortable with my girlfriend going with her friends to Jamaica without me. I've heard how Jamaican men seduce American women. He then says, Swag Boy, what would you do if you were me? Would you let your girl go on a girl's trip? Or would you prevent her from going on this girl's trip? Your honest opinion is very much appreciated. Dang. Alright, so Aaron, check this out. A similar situation happened to me years ago. Let me give y'all a quick story time. And one of my first real relationships that lasted about three years, right? I'm with this bitch, right? So it's it was her, like a couple of her friends, her cousins. And a sister that was going on a trip to Las Vegas, right? My girlfriend's aunt at the time worked for Continental Airlines, right? This is when you, this was before United was Continental, right? She worked for Continental Airlines, and she managed to get my girlfriend, her cousin, and her friends and her sisters buddy passes to go to Las Vegas. Now, when my girl found out she was going to Vegas, she came to me. She's like, babe, I'm going to Vegas. I'm going to Vegas with such and such, such and such and such. We're going to have a good time. I'm like, whoa, whoa. I'm like, I'm like, hold the fuck up. Now, when she's telling me this, she's telling me this in front of her family. She's telling me this in front of her sister, her mother. I don't know if her cousin was there, but she's telling me this in front of her family. I'm like, yo, hold up. You, you ain't going no fucking Vegas. With, 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 with whatchamacallit them, you ain't going. Her mother right there, she's like, mm, no, 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 she going. Now, this is when I'm, I'm like, beginner stage of red pill. Like, I, I was on my red pill st- st- shit, but I'm on, like, level one type shit. You know what I mean? I'm at the beginner stage of it. And this is when I started listening to uh, a guy by the name of Tariq Nasheed. He used to do this shit called Mac Lessons Radio on YouTube. This is when he was on his Mac shit. Now he on his pro-black, you know what I mean, black power shit, whatever. But I'll listen to Tariq Nasheed and another nigga named Payroll. I'ma leave they um information in the description box below. But I was listening to, it, to these niggas, and these niggas got me on my red pill shit. So I will basically implement and execute their tactics in my relationships with the bitch so when she told me this when she told me she was going to vegas a week prior to that i just got finished reading to read nasheed book it was called the mac within so i was already turned up right so i'm like look look girl i pulled to the side you know what i mean i'm like yo come in the room i said i think i'm like let's go outside real quick i'm like look girl you ain't going to vegas yo You going to Vegas is disrespecting my Mac within, bitch. So we go back and forth. We got into a little argument. She talking about, you so jealous. You so insecure. You don't trust me, blah, blah, blah. Her whole family saying you don't need to be with no insecure, jealous motherfucker like that. If a nigga don't trust you and you don't need to be with him. All that shit. Her her whole family was basically taking her side. So I'm like, I don't give a fuck what y'all say. I don't care. You my girl. You ain't going. If you go, then it's over. Now, as soon as I told her this, she's sitting that she's sitting on the couch, she's like just thinking, like, I, I don't want this nigga to leave me, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I want to go. Like that, that, that's what her body language was saying. And while she was sitting on the couch, her mother and her aunt was like, 
Girl, let him go. Let him go. You don't, you don't need no nigga to be telling you what to do. Ain't no nigga gonna control you. Yo daddy ain't control me. All this type of shit. Now, here it was. I was a good nigga. I held it down. I was a good boyfriend to this bitch. A lot of you not, son. But you would think that instead of dividing us, her family would want to keep us together. But it was the opposite. Her mother's like, no, you going, girl. You going. Go ahead. Let him go. And you go there. And you make sure you have fun. So after that, I left the house. I say about 20 minutes, 30 minutes later, she called me. She said, look, I'm going to the trip to Vegas, but I'm not going to cheat on you. I'm not about to do no stupid shit. I'm just going to have fun with my friends. That's all it is. We just having fun. You can trust me. I'm like, man, whatever. Get the fuck out of here. Whatever. Do you. Whatever. It's over. And I'm like, I ain't talking to the bitch no more. She said, whatever. But I'm not doing nothing. Just let you know. Let you know you're making a big mistake. I'm not doing nothing. So she wound up going to Vegas with her friends, right? And when she took off on that plane, when I found out she left, I'm like, wow, this bitch really disobeyed my Mac within and left to go to Vegas with her motherfucking friends. Son, I was mad. I'm like, damn, yo. I started thinking like, my girl really ain't my motherfucking girl. I'm like, as much as as much control I thought I had over the bitch, I really had no control at all. Okay, so she goes to Vegas for like the weekend, I think by like three or four days, whatever. She comes back. She comes back home. She gives me a call. She said, hey, babe, I'm home. You still mad at me? I'm like, man, get the fuck out. Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm still pissy fucking went anyway. She said, look, I didn't do nothing. I was just with my girls. We were just having fun. I didn't do anything. Like, you, you, like, bitches got intuitions, but niggas got intuition too. And my nigga intuition was like, this bitch did something, man. Like, it, it was like I couldn't prove the shit, but I felt that shit. Like, I felt like she was fucking with another nigga. I just felt that shit. So one night, I'm sitting at home on a motherfucking computer, right? I go on MySpace. This was when MySpace was popping, nigga. I go on MySpace, right? So she was always at my house, and I was always at her house. So what happened is when I was putting in my name, my uh, screen name, I had deleted my screen name, and then I was putting in my other screen name, and then her screen name and password popped up on fucking myspace because she saved the shit unknowingly my computer saved her screen name and password i log into a motherfucking profile y'all and i'm looking at her messages i'm looking at her motherfucking messages and do y'all know what i fucking found out nigga i'm reading the messages between her and her motherfucking best friend, nigga. Her best friend saying, "Yeah, girl, I saw what you, I saw what she was doing with uh old boy by the pool. You was getting your groove on, wasn't you?" She messes back like, "Yeah, he was cute. He knew how to work it too." This they was basically going back and forth. My girlfriend at the time was telling her best friend. How the nigga put it on her. My girlfriend was telling her how she had a good time pleasing. Listen, my girlfriend was telling her best friend how she enjoyed pleasing another man. This shit had me furious. This shit had me angry, but also hurt all at the same motherfucking time, son. I never thought this could happen to me. I never thought that my woman, my girl, who I was with for three fucking years would ever do something like this to me, nigga. I thought could no nigga fuck my bitch, man. So now my imagination is starting to work on me. And now my mind's starting to play little tricks on me. Because now I'm thinking about how I used to fuck my bitch. Now listen, let me remind you, nigga. I'm a very aggressive ass nigga, especially when it comes to fucking my bitch, right? I'm thinking of, because I used to pound my bitch. My bitch loved doggy style. And I used to pound her ass, bust her ass. I used to smack her ass cheeks. 
pull a fucking head, call her a bitch while I'm fucking doing it, and now I'm thinking and imagining other niggas fucking my bitch the same way I fuck my bitch. I was mad, nigga, and heartbroken, nigga. I'm furious right now. I confronted her about it. I, f I told her what I fucking found out. She started crying. Give me some stupid dumbass excuse. Somebody was a mistake. How much she loved me. All that bullshit. I'm like, get the fuck out of here, bitch. I can never fucking trust you, bitch. I can never look at you the same ever again, bitch. We wind up fucking breaking up. But even though that situation hurt me. Broke me. That shit made me the red pill nigga that I am today. So even though that shit hurt, I still embrace that shit, nigga. Now as for you, Aaron. You tell your girl that you disapprove of her going to Jamaica. And you let her know that if she goes anyway, that when she comes back, she will no longer have you in her life as her boyfriend. You make that clear, nigga. Yo, yo, yo bitch wanna go to Jamaica? Jamaica? Nigga. Don't you know Jamaican men are masters at seducing American bitches? Do you know this, nigga? Nigga, you gotta understand, son. We in America, when we mac, we mac for the pussy, nigga. We want the motherfucking pussy. Them niggas out there, they don't just want the pussy, nigga. They want that motherfucking green card. They want that fucking citizenship. Nigga, yo bitch is a meal ticket out there, nigga. Do you know the level of intensity they seduction game is on, nigga? And it don't even matter what the bitch look like. If she's American in Jamaica, her pussy is valuable out there, nigga. Take the ugliest, the most fattest bitch in your hood. Put her on a beach in Jamaica. I promise you. I guarantee you, them niggas will flock to her like flies on dog shit. Them Jamaican niggas out there, they simping heavy for some fucking American pussy. It's simp central out there, nigga. Your girl on that Jamaican beautiful beach, some Jamaican nigga named Trevor, walk up to her while she laying down and shit. He gonna walk up to her and be like, oh my darling, you look beautiful today. Any man will be lucky to be with a princess like you, sweetie. She gonna be all blushing and shit. Something. <laughs> Her girl's gonna be around. See, she gonna be like, see, I told you, girl. I told you, girl. You better get you a Jamaican nigga. I told you, girl. The Jamaican nigga gonna be like, oh, if I was your man, I would treat you like a princess. I would cook for you, clean for you. You never want for nothing. Then after that, they gonna be having dinner together. That nigga Trevor gonna be feeding your bitch curry goat with the rice and peas, with the plantains, having that bitch drinking that ginger sorrow, nigga. Next thing you know, she gonna be in the hotel room doing a Dante wine on that nigga. Y'all niggas know what happened after that. So, Aaron, hear what me say, man. You let that girl know. If she go to Jamaica, when she come back, she not your girlfriend, she single woman, she gonna come back a single woman. You let her know, you know body boy, you know Ross clad body boy, you are rude boy like swag boy. And if she wanna come back as your girlfriend, you tell her go fuck your mother, tell her fuck your mother. That was today's episode, like, comment, subscribe. Me gonna catch you on the next go round, brethren. Hello.